Good morning all my dynamite diamond painting friends out there. I hope you are having a fabulous day. Today I come to you with a post review. Um, this is a post review of actually the first kit I ever fit. Actually, I might have finished a small one before this, but the first big kit um, I finished. So this is my Spider-Man Kiss. That's what I call it. It is from Moon Zero Art Gallery Store. It is one of the first things I've purchased. Uh, it was before I learned what to look for in diamond paintings. What do you purchase? Uh, how to read the reviews, how to look them up on YouTube, things like that. So, this is a 40 by 60. I ordered it on June 26, 2018, and they shipped it four days later on June 30th, 2018. And it was delivered on July 9th, 2018, which was only nine days after they shipped it. So it was really fast to get to me. I paid $31.49 Canadian for this. Uh, I started it on July 11th, two days after I got it. And I completed it on August 9th, 2018. So it took me 29 days to complete it. So I'm just going to take a look at it through the viewfinder here and see how you guys are seeing it. Yeah, see it looks really good in the viewfinder. I'm actually really happy with it in the viewfinder. So let me go through my system. Um, if you watched my last post review, I'll put a link up in the corner. Uh, up here somewhere, I don't know. I can't see where my hand is because I'm totally looking at this from, working on this from a different angle. But. Uh, I'll show you the previous one I did for my Crystal Tiger. Here is the way I rate it. I rate it based on canvas, the company, which also includes customer service and shipping, drills, packaging, tools, and overall design. So let's start with the canvas. I gave the canvas a 4 out of 5. It was very sticky. It was, uh, it had the separation in the middle, so it had the two different um, double-sided adhesive layers, which I've now learned it, they don't cut it, but that's the way they do it. Uh, they had somewhat clear symbols. My only issue with the canvas was that there was a lot of symbols that were close together and the same color, which I always thought was weird. So like, uh, for those of you who have seen like the zero, I, I know you probably can't see from here, but like the O and the heart. They're both a solid white color with a black background and the heart is literally just a little differently shaped than, than the O, the circle. So those two together, those two were, let me just see in the viewfinder. Yeah, you probably can't see it all. Maybe I'll bring it down after I finish this and just go through some close up details. They were pretty close. There was a star and a flower that were really close together and there was like a clover and a radioactive sign that I found very close together and again they were pretty similar colors so let me see here like here's the you can't see it but here's the flower and the star you can see they're both shades of pinkish red only one's a little darker you know here's uh, where's the clover there's the clover and there's the radioactive sign so again they're just shades of like slightly different shades of pinky purple so you know, if this had been like a red and this had been a black, it would have been easier to tell. So yeah, I gave the canvas 4 out of 5 for that. The company, customer service and shipping, I gave 4 out of 5. I had no need to contact the company. So they get an automatic 5 there. Very quick shipping. So again, defaulted to 5. Um, they were a little slow to send it because it was 4 days, which usually it's about 2. But it arrived super fast. And let me just see what else I said here about them. So that's it. I think I just gave them the knock for sending it after four days. So really, if I did points, it would probably be more 4.5. But I don't do points, so it would be 4 out of 5. The drills I gave a 3 out of 5. And really, I wrote here that I would put it closer to 2.5. They were all accounted for. There was no drills missing, so that was a bonus. They were larger bags by weight. And they were all in like... Um, the Ziploc bags. I'll link the um, the original unboxing as well below and up in the eye. I had plenty of leftovers. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. I'll go get the leftovers in a second. Uh, except one color, which I believe was the 939, I got really close to running out of and I had to start using some of the 
like ones with holes, some of the smaller ones, uh, things like that. Because as you can see here in the shades of blue, there is a lot of 939, and that's the one I started to run a little low on. Uh, some of the drills were squishy, some were hollow and concave. There were some that were broken, some that were holy, and there was a lot of trash. There was a bunch that were clumpy, and I had at least two bags of oily drills that I had to wash. So that was my experience with that. Um, just give me a second, I'm just gonna go get the drills. One of the reasons I wanted to get this post review done was so that I could merge, start merging some of my beads together because I've got more kits going. Let me bring it down here. That might be a little better. So here's the 939s. This is what I'm saying I had left. As you can see, let me just see if you can see what I'm seeing. I'm going to actually turn this around a bit. Give me one sec. There, now I can see. So here is what I had left of the 939. As you can see, there is not a lot left. And it's pretty much like powdery, trashy, not good. And this was my first real big kit, so I didn't really have any extras to pull from either. So that's what I had left with the 939. Also, other than that, here's my 820s. Sorry, the 820 is the blue. The 939 is closer to a black. Pretty good, decent size amount of 820. Also, there was bags that I didn't even open. Um, where did I put those? I put those over here somewhere. So for some of the colors here, so as you can see, not all of them were by weight, but some of them were. This nine, wait, wait, let me, let me do Brandy's trick. It's on that side, so this way. So the 996, I had two bags left. My 824. I still had three bags that I didn't even touch. And my 3765, I had two bags that I didn't even touch. So, and if you can see from this side over, these are all the drills I have left from this painting. So you can see that some of them only have a small amount, but then there's some, let me see, that's 310. I had quite a bit of 310 left. I've been using the 310 for other paintings actually. So like there's, a good bag or more left in here. This 960, 891, sorry, has quite a bit left in there. So yeah, no fear of running out except for the one color. Everything from here over is like current projects I'm working on that I want to be able to merge in. My one issue, so this is the one here, 3801. This is one of the beads that you can see was oily. Even after I gave it a, a little wash with this is one I tried with the baby wipes and I didn't like the feel on my hands, but I also don't think it does, to me anyways, it doesn't do a great job. It still leaves some of them clumpy. My washing method that I use, um, I'll link the video in the eye and down below, actually does a much better job than this one. My other issue with this color, this is 3801. So if you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the viewfinder, but it's a, it's kind of like an orangey red color. And every other 3801 I've gotten since then is more of a reddish color, like a true red. So yeah, I, I think this one I'm going to just like dump in a container and leave to like color match. Actually, these were ones where that were like really oily, oh. really squishy. They were just not good quality beads at all. So I might just dump those ones to be honest and then reuse that for the other colors. So yeah, pretty happy with the beads other than the 939s. So let's get back to the rating system. My battery's running low, so hopefully we make it through this. <laughs> if not, we'll just have to redo the rest of it. So yeah, so the drills were three out of five. Packaging was five out of five. It actually came on a foam core, which to me was my first experience, so it's what I expected. Uh, it was rolled in a box, it was in good shape, there was no creases and it had a slight piece of tape to close it. Again, I've linked the unboxing video if you want to see it, so I gave that a 5 out of 5. For the tools, I gave them a 3 out of 5. It had one tiny little square of wax, which to me at the time, again it was my first painting, I was really nervous that I, would get, I was going to run out. Of course I didn't. Um, and in fact I ended up not even using wax anymore, I, I used Tiki Tacks different sticky tacks, floral clays, things like that. So I didn't run out, but uh, it was still nerve wracking for me. 
uh, it came with a standard pen with no multiplacer, uh, which I feel like should be included for larger kits. Even though I don't use them, somebody else might. Probably does. Um, especially when there's like open backgrounds, there was lots of solid colors that you could use it for. Of course, there was a lot of confetti too, which is my personal favorite. I like confetti because I don't like the multi-placers. Uh, so I like that. There was no baggies and just the very cheap straight tweezers, which I don't like at all. And the small green tray with a sprout. So a sprout? A spout. So three out of five for the tools. And my overall design, I gave it a four out of five. Because for me, it's not just about the overall look, but it's also my experience with it. And because of the issues with the drills, which I've already deducted for, but the painting was not enjoyable at times. Plus there's weird little things, like I don't know if you can see, but we've got this red and black and blue Spider-Man. And then in the middle, we have these two little random colors. I'm sure I could pull them out and replace them. But this was my first one. I didn't know about that kind of stuff. I find there's a lot of blending here where the faces are kissing. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on. In fact, I have a lot of people asking me what this picture is. Um, but it's from a comic book page, I believe. So I think the water running off of her looks really good. The hair here looks really good. So overall, I would give that a 4 out of 5. So my overall rating, when I added it all up, was 23 out of 30, which goes to a 76.67%, which equals a B plus, just barely, in my university rating scales. Now, if I was grading on a curve, which I'm going to with this one, I would downgrade it to a B. Because of my experience in the drills, even though it was my first one, I was really frustrated. I was like, I hope this isn't this way for all of them, which it's not. So yeah, B. So yeah, that's that everybody. Spider-Man kiss, gonna give her a B, him a B, them a B. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up somewhere in there. Please feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and lots of other different videos I do. Feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Everything Gwenny for my pages, or you can find me personally as Gwyneth Love. I hope you guys like this video. I know I say that twice. Anyways, I will see you in the next video, guys, and have a great day.